Welcome to the Home Base Business Success Podcast. Today's topic, why I view failure as a stepping stone to success. Coming up next. Okay, everybody, this is Ralph back with the Home Based Business Success Podcast. And yeah, today's topic, we're going to be talking about the opposite of success or what a lot of people tend to think of as being the opposite of success, but actually it's not. I see it as an integral part of success, and that is failure, you know, short term failure, not final failure. But short-term failure in which you try, you fail, you learn, and then you try again. Because very, very few people, absolutely, well, thinking about it, nobody that I know has ever succeeded the first time they try something. I mean, maybe at poker, you know, beginner's luck pool, beginner's luck. But if you're starting a business, you're starting a career, you're going to have some failures along the way. You're going to have some hiccups. You're going to be some time, there are going to be some times in your life where you try something new. It does not go very well, but you learn from it and you keep going anyway. Think about it like this, your first YouTube video. I got looking at (laughs) some of the first YouTube videos I've done, and I mean, looking at them now, I kind of think they suck, and I didn't really feel that good about them when I first made them, but I kept working, I kept doing, I kept growing as I was doing it, and now my my YouTube video-making skills have increased, I think, dramatically. And I'm learning to do a lot uh, by way of using Canva templates and things like that, uh, you know, using better equipment, uh, better cameras, and, and not more expensive cameras, but just a, 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 a cheap $30 smartphone that has one of the best cameras on it that I have ever owned. And I have had some cameras that, you know, I spent like $300, $400 on, you know, back in the day. And now today's technology, the smartphone technology, is like a $30 smartphone. It's got a better camera on it than one of my $400 cameras that I have sitting in the closet now gathering dust because I really don't like the way it works. So, you know, we we, we try, we grow, we learn. And as we learn, we get better and better and better. So... If you're the kind of person that doesn't want to fail, if you're the kind of person who's afraid of failure, then I really don't think that you're going to be able to have any success because the way we are wired as human beings, none of us are perfect right from the start on anything. Failure is going to be a part of the equation. And if we view failure as like, okay, it's a short-term setback or it's a short-term failure, it's a little glitch, and we decide we're going to learn from it, and then we're going to pick ourselves back up and we're going to try, try again until we finally hit our stride and get going, if we have that kind of attitude, then yes, we're going to be using failure as a stepping stone to success. But if you're the kind of person who is afraid of failure, and the first time you go out and you do something and it sucks, and then you quit, well then for you, failure is permanent, and you're never going to find success with that mindset. But if you view failure as just a necessary event along the way to success, a stepping stone, then yes, you will be able to withstand multiple failures. But if you're learning from those events 
and growing from those events, then eventually those failures will lead to your success. In marketing, in any kind of sales, uh, there, there's a book called Go for No, which states this beautifully. But what a lot of people don't like about sales is that the first few times they try selling something, the first responses they get are going to be no. And this is just the way it goes. I don't care how good of a salesperson you are, in the beginning and even at the more professional level, your first few attempts at selling something to someone, you are going to be hearing the word no. And on average, on average, for every one yes that you want to get in sales, you need to be hearing the word no about nine or ten times. Now, the better you are as a salesperson, the, the, the fewer no's you'll have to hear and the more yeses you'll start to hear. But yeah, on average, you know, one yes requires about nine to ten no's before you get to that yes. And in the book, Go for No, they encourage you. The authors encourage you to go for no. You know, make up your mind. You're going to be hearing the word no a lot in your sales career and embrace it. And every time you hear the word no, just think to yourself, okay, that's one no down, nine more to go, and I will probably get a sale. I will probably hear the word yes. And just keep on going, no matter how many no's that you hear, because you know, okay, I've got five no's for the day. That's five no's down, a couple more, and I might be hearing a yes. Because, yeah, on average, just a general rule of thumb, every yes requires about nine to ten no's. And so that's an excellent way, an excellent example of failing your way to success. Failures being the stepping stones to success. No's, hearing the word no, is a stepping stone to that one yes, that one sale that you want to make. And the problem is that a lot of people are so afraid of failure, they are so afraid of hearing the word no, that after they hear the word no three times, four times, five times, they start complaining, they start thinking, they start getting discouraged, and they think, I don't want to hear the word no again. And what do they do? they quit. And then that is taking failure to a whole new level. That's not just a temporary setback. That's not a temporary failure. That is a final failure, a failure that leads you to stopping, quitting, and going nowhere. And it's it's entirely 100% a mindset thing. Because if you view, view failure as being temporary, that these are just temporary lessons that we're learning until you get better and you just take failure in stride, you keep learning, you keep growing, you keep going, then yes, failure is a stepping stone to success. And eventually you will get to the level of success that you want if you keep going. But if you don't, If you view a failure as final and it stops you in your tracks and you go no further, then yeah, for you, failure is your destination and you're going nowhere from there. But viewing failure as a stepping stone to success, you can go places and failure will not stop you. It will just serve as being a lesson along the way. Now, one example in my own experience here, just recently, about something that I thought of in the beginning as being a failure, but I'm going to keep trying it anyway because I hear from these other people it works and I I like the strategy, but starting a Facebook group. And if you've heard me before on this podcast, you know that in the past, my attitude about Facebook has not been 
100% positive. I mean, Facebook is probably my least favorite social media platform. And managing a group on Facebook really wasn't for me a dream come true. But I heard from some mentors that I'm learning from that one way to make headway on Facebook, headway in getting sales in a, any affiliate marketing opportunity that you're marketing, is to start a Facebook group focusing on entrepreneurial quotes. So I, I created a Jim Rohn motivational quote group, and I, I started it on uh, Facebook. I also have a parent group over on, uh, well, a not a parent group. Facebook's a parent group, but uh, another satellite group over on X and on LinkedIn. And in the beginning, when I first started the group, it was like it was tough because, okay, I was struggling to get two or three people joining the group. And I was inviting people. I was posting quotes on the group. And at one point, I only had like 10 people. And I thought, okay, this is going nowhere fast. Why am I here? Why am I continuing to try this? But I kept hearing from my mentors that, hey, this is a good strategy. Just keep it up. Keep going. Eventually, you will make it. And then I got went from 10 to 20 members joining on the, the uh, Facebook group. And then I got the 50. And then, lo and behold, just a couple weeks ago, I noticed we had 80. And now, just the other day, we broke 100 and it's growing from there. I estimate right now that I'm getting about 10 people joining this motivational quotes group on Facebook, getting 10 people joining every day. And from there, I imagine it is going to take off even more rapidly because one thing that I notice about growth in Facebook groups, uh, YouTube video channels, things like that, Starts off slow, but after a while, after it starts to grow, it can just grow. Uh, what's what's the word? Anyhow, it it just takes off. It just grows exponentially. That's the word I'm looking for. And if I had quit back when I first got disappointed and got looking at my group stats and saw, okay, we only got 12, 20 people here. I might as well throw in the towel and not go any further, just focus on something else. I never would have gotten to this point. And I have tried growing YouTube channels in the past. YouTube channels that, you know, I, 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 I quit growing, I, I quit posting on because I got stuck at like about 100 followers, 100 subscribers. And I thought, this is going nowhere. Why am I even posting? And then I, I just quit doing anything on that YouTube channel. And then a couple years later, went back, looked at that same channel, was shocked to see I've got a thousand subscribers on that one channel that I gave up on a couple years ago because I had one video that went viral for whatever reason. And I just got subscriber after subscriber after subscriber coming in, even though I wasn't posting content to that channel. And it makes me wonder if I had kept posting on, on that channel, how many more subscribers would I have? So any more today when I'm growing anything new, I learned, I have learned to enter into it with the attitude that this will probably take some time to grow. It will probably feel like I'm failing in the beginning because after all, I'm learning as I go and it will take me time to hit my stride. But that's okay because eventually I will hit my stride and this thing is going to grow to where I want it to be and I will find my level of success. And I've seen that in, in other parts of life, too. You know, off to a slow start, 
on one thing or another. But then over time, as I learn, as I grow, as I get better, the undertaking gets better. And I go from one failure after another to failure, to success, to success, and to greater success. And so that's why I've learned over the years that when I encounter failure, I no longer really like to even refer to it as failure. I like to think of it as a temporary setback. But I I just view that as a necessary stepping stone to success. So if you are trying anything new, if you're trying to start up a YouTube channel and it seems to be going terribly slow, or you're trying to start a Facebook group or a LinkedIn group or a community on X and things are going very slow, all I have to say is keep on going. If you see this as an important part of your business growth or personal growth, and you have high hopes that you are pinning on the success of whatever undertaking it is, then just keep on going and view every failure as just a temporary setback, a learning experience. Learn from that experience and keep right on going. And eventually you will get to the point that you've learned enough to be able to become more and more successful. And when that happens, you won't be focusing on your failures. You're going to be focusing on your successes. So don't let temporary failure stop you. Temporary failure is just a learning experience, just something that gives you something to grow on and think about on your journey, as long as it doesn't stop you. But when failure stops you dead in your tracks and you go no further, then you go from temporary failure to final failure to final defeat. And that's not a good place to be. So don't look on failure as being fatal or final. Just view it as being a temporary learning experience and keep right on going. And don't try to skip over those stepping stones to success. Okay, I hope you found some value in this broadcast. I'm got nothing more to say, say on the topic right now. But hey, you know, wherever you're seeing this, if you're seeing this as a rebroadcast on on uh, YouTube, be sure to like, share, subscribe. <laughs> and if you're seeing this someplace else, like, share, subscribe too, whatever the format is. But yeah, we'll be back later with another topic on home business success. And uh, catch you all later. Until then. Have a great day and, uh, you know, blessings on whatever, wherever your journey is taking you right now and keep on going until you find your level of success. Bye-bye. 